the idea held by generations of citizens who believe that America is a constant work in progress, who believe that loving this country requires, requires more than singing its praises or avoiding uncomfortable truths. It requires the occasional disruption, the willingness to speak out for what is right, to shake up the status quo. That's America. History fascinates me. And as a result of this last election, I have been inspired to revisit the story of our nation in its identity in the face of a crisis of one. Suddenly, that shining city upon a hill has grown a little dimmer as immigration policies that disenfranchise Muslims, Latinos, and non-Europeans have been discussed and introduced. It is important we recognize what they do for us because we were once them. And if we fail to do so, then we have abandoned the identity that has made us heard across the world. So, I turn my ears to those around me. How important is it that immigrants are given a platform in politics here in the United States? And it's very important because it really shows other immigrants that anything is possible right here in this country. So long as you come, you work hard, you learn, uh, you learn the culture, uh, you learn the language, you can achieve any dream that you set for yourself. Last count, we have about 104 different nationalities represented here at the church. It's just kind of made us more diverse. It's made us more uh, in touch with what God has done in people's lives all over the world. What do you fear academically compared to your American classmates? Personally, uh, I am pretty good at um, academic areas. I'm, I'm, I'm like personally very interested in politics and economy, and I want to go into those fields. You know, as an immigrant working for the American economy, working for the American um, political fields, I think that is something um, really empowering. Unless you're one of the first Americans, a Native American, you came from someplace else. Somebody brought you. I have Muslim friends who are texting me tonight saying, should I leave the country? I have uh, uh, families of immigrants that are terrified tonight. It's hard to make the case, in my view, to 600 million people in the hemisphere that we genuinely respect you all, but we do not show respect. What trying to do is to try to prevent pushing the line back to, along this and a, with nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Right now, we're hearing a lot of a lot of um, anger, a lot of. Disruption. We see a lot of disruption, um, and everyone wants to say that it's under the flag of nationalism. It really isn't. Jesus said, "A house divided can't stand." You know, and so if we're divided, it's hard to stand. It's hard to work together. It's hard to see progress. What I fear now is, you know, without the political divide between the left and right, you know, what if it really becomes extreme and and um, they really start to, you know, people really start to believe um, that, you know, immigrants is the source of um, unemployment and terrorism. To be indifferent in this day and age is to be complicit with fear mongers and their ignorance. To stop this, we have to call them out on what they truly are. They aren't patriots. They're bigots, racists, and a small yet dangerous percentage are white supremacists. They aren't defending our country from terrorism and crime. They're scared of a changing country. If we truly are the land of the free and the home of the brave, then our society and policies 
must reflect that truth. In whatever opposition we're seeing on the national stage, um, we're, we're making sure that we are united as a community because we understand that's how we can move ahead. I think it's important for people to be able to work together because uh, uh, the more united we are, the stronger we can be, you know. Um, I think that's what makes our country such an amazing country because of the diversity um, that we're able to come together and uh, work together. My hope is when more immigrants come to America, um, you know, as it's these, these immigrants emerge into the American society, these Americans will um, you know, start to see things from um, not just their perspective, but also our perspective. Not just their dreams, but also our dreams. You know, not just their hope, but also our hope, and hope that we will contribute um, as an, a factor into these um, political movements. This has always been a nation of nations. From the ports of New England to the beaches of California. This great American experiment has been dreamed up by people from different walks of life. When I see Lady Liberty, I see hope. I see empathy. History has made me more empathetic. It's made me realize how important immigrants are to the United States and just how much we'd be different without them. They have brought new talents and fresh ideas which have contributed to our social, scientific, and economic advancement. After all, it is the exchange of cultures and ideas that help us grow in trade, business, education, and hopefully, tolerance. So, in the words of Emma Lazarus, we, the American people, say, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.